this is one of our famed days in Beverly Hills. It's the Affair in the Gardens. I feel like starting Friday morning, the place was buzzing around with creative energy. It's pretty impressive actually, like in Italy you get some incredible watercolors and paint artists, but I think the variety here is what's really impressive and the grandeur of the work, like some of the pieces are huge. My favorite was the artist that did the koi paintings, just beautiful. The city is also known for its culture and its, its commitment to the arts and music, and this is just one way of demonstrating that. We call it urban folk art, which we collect a lot of recyclable materials, and we feel we can recreate it into something that somebody can enjoy again. My medium that I have here is handmade rag paper, and it is an ancient art. All of these are oils and canvas. I'm influenced by since Guatemala, I'm from there, so it's uh, very bright colors, the textiles, and that's what I get most influenced by. I take a unique look at the landscape. The landscape has been photographed since cameras have been around. I take a, a, an approach where I have a tripod and I can elevate the camera 50 feet up in the air. It's that simple. This is a mobile modular creative performance area. There is a total of four crates. They're each assembled with audio and light audio sensors. At night, they have been glowing. We've done shows for almost 30 years now, and this is the highest quality that we do in Los Angeles. It's a very nice venue. It's a good thing for the city to do. It'd be very nice if uh, more cities did things like this. I ran into a guy from Zimbabwe, flies all the way here just to show his art here because it's just that caliber. It's just been really, really exciting to get to know so many worldviews in such an art-packed weekend.